Okay, today I'm going to repair a, a leaking faucet. Uh, over time, when the uh, rubber or um, on the faucet got worn out, and then water start to leak. So, um, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how you can repair a uh, mowing. 1225 uh, cartridges that is leaking uh, or dripping uh, faucet. In this video, we will save you a lot of uh, time and money for hiring a professional plumber to repair um, your faucet. The cost of fixing a faucet just like this one, it can cost anywhere, anywhere from $100 to $300. So let's stay tuned and see how I did it. These are the tools that I use to repair the uh, leaking or dripping faucet. Okay, um, before you perform any work on the sink, you will have to turn off the water. Okay, and that's how you turn off the water. Turn this one off also before you do any work on the sink. That way, uh, you don't have water splashing on you while you are uh, fixing the uh, faucet. Okay, um, first thing I'm going to pry this uh, cap off. Okay, and then um, I'm going to use a um, Phillips screwdriver to remove this screw off the um, faucet. So turning counterclockwise. Okay, and make sure you put all the parts um over here so you can get to it. Okay. Now the tricky part is that how you're gonna move remove this uh, cartridge uh, cartridges out of the uh, faucet. So remove this part right here. This ring, locking ring, and then another locking ring down here. So what you can do, you can use a hook or a small uh, flat screwdriver to pry this thing off. So what going, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a hook. That's much easier to do that. And here is the fun part. Um, make sure you remove this ring, this washer also. Make sure to remove this washer. See this washer right here. Okay, remove this washer also. And here, here is the fun part. If you don't have a tools like this, this is where you can buy from Lowe's or Home Depot. I, I believe it's about 15 or 20 something dollars. I, I'm not sure exactly how much is it. But these tools will be helping you to pull these cartridges out of the uh, faucet. If you don't have these tools right here, uh, when you buy a new uh, cartridges, it also come with this little plastic tools right here. So what you can do, you can use this plastic tool. Just put in here. Okay in there make sure it's not snuck in place I mean fill uh, in there and then and then you can use a, um, a adjustable wrench to uh, turn this cartridges uh, back and forth back and forth before you can remove it but I'm not going to use this tool right here uh, since it's not fitting properly or something, I'm not going to use these tools. I'm going to use um, this one right here. So this, this is the tools that I bought separately from um, um, this cartridges, cartridges right here. So um, first thing, you will have to lose this uh, screw here first. Okay, loosen this screw right here. To make it uh, like this, 
as you can see, you will have to loosen this uh, screw upward and then um, apply this thing in there and then um, this it. I'm make sure I got it right. Let's so see better here. This way. Okay, and then you have to tighten the screw. Okay. The screw and then pull this thing down a little bit more to lock in place. Then you're going to turn turn and then pull it up and just like that okay so first you will have to turn to lock this in place to lock this thing in place uh, let me see. okay this is how things work you see this thing right here right this hole right here this is where the screw inside here gonna connect to this thing tied into this hole right here and this piece right here, this is this piece right there, here, yeah, right there, and then over over here. And this is how things are supposed to work. Okay, it go right there. Okay, that's how things work. And as you can see here, on the other side, you see that. Okay, and then you gotta tie the screw on the top. Okay. Tie the screw on the top. Tie the screw on the top. Normally, you um, use a uh, Phillips screwdriver to tie it. Okay, you're gonna tie it like this. And you're gonna pull this thing down about this much. Okay, about that much. You see right here. About that much, and then make sure the tight screw and uh, and this is how you turn it. You're gonna turn, okay? Turn to make sure this things become loose. And then you're gonna pull this thing up to pull the cartridges out of the uh, faucet, okay? That's how things work. Okay, um, before I uh, put the new one in, I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of grease. Um, this extreme pressure, premium red grease. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease around this faucet right here so that when I put the new one in, it's easy uh, to put out or to install the new one in or to push the new one into the faucet. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, now I'm going to go on a little bit of um, um, grease on this much around the faucet right here so that. Um, I insert all the cartridges in there as is, you is go in, as you goes in. Um, I don't know if it's is necessary, but to me, I, I found out that this way will work better um, when you um, install the new cartridges. And all the time when you try to remove the old one, it's not too tight to remove it. So this is how I do it. But, it's up to you. I mean, it's not. It's not a recommendation, but it's up to your preference. If you want to do that, you can do that. Otherwise, you don't have to. So now it's time to put the new cartridges um, into the faucet. Uh, normally, the new one already comes with some grease on it, but um. I also put in here so, so that is go um, easy in. So I'm going to twist that a little bit. Okay. So insert straight in like that. So um, you also need to push this thing in. By using some tools like what I have right here, I push all the way in. Okay, so now it goes all the way in. Okay, and you can adjust this thing by using your hand to turn left to right. Make sure it's angle, the angle 
um, correctly, or you can still use this to to adjust it, the angle. Okay. So let's see. I think it looks good. Okay, and then um, you can put everything back on the way you took it out. So I believe this is how you do it. Okay. Um, uh, this thing go all the you know, way around. So I should do uh, use this thing. Okay, now it locking on uh, this cartridges right here. Okay. And I'm gonna put everything back in this locking ring, this little locking ring. I'm gonna put it back in there. And the ring go in there. Next is little uh, outer ring to lock this thing. Okay. And then um, the knot, insert the knot inside, uh, in there. Mm. Okay, I have to turn around to make sure I have the right angle. Okay, just the right angle. Right there, and then put that screw, put that screw back in, okay, and use same flip screwdriver to tighten the screw to the knob. You don't have to do too tight, otherwise you're gonna damage, cause some damage to it. Okay, now it's time to um, put this um, cover or this cap back on. Okay, now it's time to uh, turn the water back on and see if it is working or not. Now, since I'm ready, I'm going to turn the water back on. Get this. How I turn the water back on. That's about halfway. And about halfway. Okay, now let's check uh, the faucet to see if any water is running. I'm done now, so it's time to test it to see if the uh, uh, faucet is working the way it's supposed to be. Okay, water is running. Now we have the sink to wash your face and to brush your teeth and wash your hands again. Okay, um, thank you for watching and I hope this video will help you um, work on your sink or to repair your sink without a lot of bills.